When it comes to borders sometimes it's not always a straightforward process. This is the current case in East Africa with Somalia and Kenya cutting off diplomatic ties with each other. The dispute between the two East African countries arises from a disagreement over which direction their border extends into the Indian Ocean. Somalia has accused Kenya of undermining its sovereignty and of interfering with its internal political activities and affairs. It also accuses Kenya of sending armed militias into its Jubaland area. Despite their rocky relations over various issues, the major heart of the problem has been their maritime border dispute of over where the line on the border lies. Before we continue hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss an upload. So what is the issue? The dispute between the two East African countries stems from a disagreement over which direction their border extends into the Indian Ocean. Somalia argues its maritime boundary should run in the same direction as the southeasterly path of the country's land border. On the contrary, Kenya claims the border should take a roughly 45-degree turn at the shoreline and run in a latitudinal line. This gives Kenya access to a larger share of the maritime area. Kenya and Somalia are both former British colonies, and like many other colonies, they both had their borders drawn by their former masters. Before the coming of the Europeans, the border between them was largely undefined, and people lived according to tribal lines. This border which was part of a British and Italian agreement has been a source of disputes and tensions ever since. The border intersects an ethnically Somali area over which a multitude of problems stem. The current northeastern part of Kenya has an ethnic Somali majority. It was formerly known as the Northern Frontier District. The Northern Frontier District came into being in 1925, when it was carved out of present-day southern Somalia. At the time it was under British colonial administration. The northern half of Jubaland which was part of Kenya was ceded to Italy as a reward for the Italian support of the Allies during World War I. Britain retained control of the southern half of the territory, which was later called the Northern Frontier District. For many years the maritime border issue between the two countries was left undefined. Somalia's conflict and civil war took their focus of sea borders and focused on finding stability, however, with relative stability and potential of rich oil deposits at the Kenyan border the situation quickly changed and Somalia demanded the disputed area. The narrow triangle off the coast of East Africa, in the Indian Ocean, is about 100,000 square kilometers or 62,000 square miles, which is the cause of a dispute between the Horn neighbors Kenya and Somalia. Both countries want the area because it supposedly has a large deposit of oil and gas, but it's not clear to which country it belongs. Kenya however states that the boundary is quite clear. It claims that it lies on a line parallel to the line of latitude. That gives Kenya the larger share of the maritime area, and it has already sold mining licenses to international companies. But Somalia disagrees. The Somalis want the boundary to extend to the southeast as an extension of the land border. In 2009, both countries agreed that the United Nations Commission in charge of mediating border disputes should determine the borderline once and for all. They also agreed that they should continue to work together to find a solution so that the matter would not have to go to court. The result of this dispute forms a large triangular area where large deposits of gas and fish are thought to exist. Kenya would like to work out the dispute in an out-of-court settlement to which Somalia has disagreed. In 2014, Somalia sued Kenya at the International Court of Justice the ICJ. The court represents one way of solving border conflicts in maritime areas if bilateral or regional attempts fail. Somalia's basis of the claim is not based on the direction of the land border, but rather on equidistant lines. An equidistant line is a line that has points from designated base points in the country's shorelines, what this means is that an ocean is split based on coastal features. Kenya's claims are based on several factors, with the main ones being a 1979 proclamation and also on two bilateral agreements, it signed with Tanzania in 1976 and 2009. In 1979 former Kenyan President Daniel Mwa made a proclamation of the border and all the resources that lie within it. Kenya's agreement of the border with Tanzania follows a parallel line which places Pemba Island in Tanzanian territory, Tanzania and Mozambique have a similar border. It is easy to see where Kenya's claim comes from as losing this territory will greatly reduce its waters. Relations between the two neighbors have taken a turn for the worse over the last 10 years. In May 2019, Somalia criticized Kenya for deporting two Somali legislators and a minister after authorities in Nairobi blocked them from entering the country following their arrival at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. 
In March 2020, Somalia banned the import of CAT, a popular mild stimulant plant, from Kenya. Somalia said the ban was to contain the spread of coronavirus, but CAT imports from Ethiopia were not stopped. Somalia has long been considered a failed state without a functioning government. It has only had an elected president again since 2012 and now seems anxious to safeguard what it regards as its sovereign rights in the Indian Ocean. Somalia wants the ICJ to define the boundary as laid down by the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea and other international sea laws. In disputed cases, a temporary boundary is drawn along a line that is at the same distance from both coastlines if there are no physical obstacles to this. A test period is then implemented to see if this boundary is fair to both sides or if it benefits or disadvantages one or the other. Kenya's government, however, is sticking to its preferred border demarcation. For nearly 100 years, it had considered this line to be its border, the government has stated. Apart from fishing, the disputed area, about 100,000 square kilometers, is thought to be rich in oil and gas, with both countries accusing each other of auctioning off blocks before a ruling by the court. With both countries being members of the United Nations, if court proceedings are opened, then the decision on the border will be binding. However, the court has no power to implement its decision. If the court decides to rule in favor of Somalia, the Kenyan border would shift dramatically and it will have a limited exclusive economic zone. This could lead to a dispute over the maritime boundary with Kenya's southern neighbor Tanzania, this would mean that Pemba Island which is part of Zanzibar will now fall into Kenyan territory. This will further have effects that could in turn have an impact on Mozambique, Madagascar, and South Africa. At the moment Kenya has pulled out of the International Criminal Court citing unfairness and wants the dispute solved by the African Union. If this happens then Kenya will most likely win because it has significant influence within the African Union. A compromise is possible if both countries can agree to share the area. However, both countries do not want to compromise when it comes to their own sovereign rights. For Somalia, the end of the dispute represents a great opportunity, and Kenya represents regional loss and conflict with Tanzania. All in all the future of both economies with all factors constant looks great. What are your thoughts on this maritime dispute? Let us know below. Did you enjoy this video? Give us a thumbs up. Watch other amazing videos on this channel.